All right, Doug, this is your uh, transmission out of the 2001 Ford Expedition. And I want to go through and explain what we found on this. Uh, cause of failure on the inside the transmission was hydraulic pressure loss. This is uh, your uh, solenoid block assembly, uh, which caused a direct loss of pressure. With a loss of pressure, uh, then you get a non-apply situation or slippage or a loss of pressure to uh, apply the clutches. And you can see these clutches here, how dark they've gotten. This one here is lighter with the dark ring in the middle. This one's dark all the way across. And then the steel dry plates and pressure plates have got hot spots and heat cracks on them. And then this uh, direct set of clutches uh, are burnt very badly. Friction Zan steels all the way through. They uh, actually discontinued these clutches so they're not used anymore. Uh, nor is the drum, this direct drum here that the clutches go into. We have to replace the drum with an updated drum assembly with the new style clutches and steel plates throughout the unit. Um, this is the transmission part with the valve body connect. We've got to clean everything here and then uh, replace this fan. And then the valve body, this is the main control unit. That's the brain center of the transmission. We have to go through and rebuild, recalibrate that with a special kit. But you can see how dark the fluid got and you can see uh, the metal that's uh, coming off of the parts inside the transmission uh, from overheating and uh, the, all the debris going back and forth between the transmission and the torque converter. Now this is your torque converter right here. That's your torque multiplier that converts the power from the engine to the transmission. Same fluid circulates back and forth. This torque converter right here, there's damage to the hub. It's also a sealed unit. It's got a clutch inside. It comes on in third and overdrive. So we're going to replace that torque converter with an exchange rebuild. So what we've got is a complete rebuild with all the updates and modifications. Um, we're also going to need to do our patented hot flush, which I'll tell you about in the video, uh, to flush all the debris and clean uh, everything out of the transmission cooler located inside the radiator. So there you have it, Doug. Uh, I'll be getting a uh, video off to you shortly along with a uh, worn and damaged parts report and written estimate. This is our hot flush. It's a patented machine that flushes the transmission cooler super clean. Uh, this is not your vehicle, but uh, it will be hooked up to it. These red and blue hoses are hooked up to the transmission cooler lines. And this blue hose is a shop air hose. And what it does, it pumps heated fluid through the transmission for three seconds through the transmission cooler. And in half a second, it blasts shop air backwards. And that's the pulsing of the hoses that you see in here. And uh, it heats the fluid up to about 190. It's up to 180 right now. And uh, it measures flow. This is how we find out and make sure that it has enough volume. It's running about two gallons an hour right now. Or excuse me, two gallons a minute right now. And it's running about 50 PSI. And uh, so that's enough pressure. And that's how we get all the metal and clutch material and all the contaminants out of the transmission cooler instead of replacing it like they a lot of times recommend. But there you have it. That is the hot flush. Thanks.